Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you 6 best ways to create text to images by using AI which are absolutely free. So let's get started. So first let me begin with Bing Image Creator. So just go to Google and type Bing Image Creator. This is from Microsoft. So you need to click the first link and you need to sign in with your Microsoft account. So here you will be having a search tab. So you need to just click here and type whatever the text that you want to get converted to image. So I'll be using the exact same text in all the websites so that you will be able to distinguish between the quality of the image generated by AI. So I'll just go with New York City. I'll give it high quality. This is going to be my prompt for everything. So I'll just now hit enter. So these are the images that I got from the prompt New York City. So here you can see the quality of image is so good. You can just directly download here. Yeah, everything is created by AI. And these are the images that I got for the prompt New York. So based upon your description, whether it is like an oil painting or it's a digital art, you can just like configure it in your prompt. All right. So this is the first one that I wanted to show you. Next thing is going to be Blue Willow. So for this blue willow, you need to have a discord account and after going into discord, you need to click on this compass like icon to the left and in the communities, you need to search for blue willow. This is exactly similar to mid journey, but the thing is that blue willow is free, free to use. You can just go on typing how much ever the prompts you want. So you'll be having this blue willow and you need to join the server. That's it. So I have already joined the server. If you haven't joined it, you need to click on this icon and select join server. So after joining it here, you'll be having this rookie thing. Click that. And here you'll be having so many people generating their own AI images. So I'll just go here. You need to just put a slash and you need to type imagine. And here you need to enter your text to image prompt. So we are having the prompt, right? It's going to be New York City with high quality. Yeah, this is going to be my prompt and we need to just hit enter. So it will take some time to generate our image. So this is what I got for New York City high quality. So here you can see the images right in case if you want to view any one image like this, let me go with the third image. So whether I can just click on U3 which basically upscales my third image. So here you can see that I'm getting this. And if you want some other version of any image, so in case I want some other variations of the second image, I will just click on V2. So these are the variations that I got for my second image. So this particular image, these are the variations that I got. So in case if you want to have a more realistic image, this looks like a lot of cartoonish. You can just like specify that to be more realistic and in natural case. So this is with Blue Willow. The next website that I'm going to show is Lexica Art. So just go to Google and search for Lexica. You will be getting the first link, lexica.art. Click that and this has a better option, okay? Here you are having a search option. So through this way, you will be able to see the image that are generated by other people also. So if I just scroll down, I'll be having these many images generated by other people. And another good thing is that if you click on any of the image, you will be also able to see the prompt what other people have used. So let's suppose say that I'm going to this image over here. And if I just click on that, I'll be getting this prompt for this Pikachu. So this is going to be the prompt and the model and the dimension and the upscaled. So if I just click on open an editor, you will be able to get this exact image and you can also like directly download this image. So this is the best thing I would say about Lexica AI through which you will be able to see other people's prompts and stuff. So now let's just go and generate our own image. Okay. So I'll just go to generate in the home page. You need to click on generate and here you will be having two options. One is directly generating an image and another one is uploading our own image. Yeah. New York city, high quality and no, I'm not giving any negative prompts. Let it be natural. I'll just click on generate. And here you are also having some options to change the dimensions. So that's also a good thing. And in advanced settings, you have the model type and guidance scale. So basically scaling like it helps you to generate much more details and variations of that image. So you can just like play around with that. So these are the images that I get for New York City high quality. And next thing that I'm going to show is 
dal e from open ai i think many of you would be knowing this this has been like since there for a long time so you want to sign in with your open ai or chat gpt account just click on login i am already signed in so i'll just go to dal e so you'll be getting the space where you can view other images exactly same thing you can just like check it out exactly similar to lexica where you can see the prompt of others images also so in this you can just search for a image i will just go with our same thing i will just click on generate so this is what i get for new york city in dali so i'll just go with the second image this looks like an oil painting and you can generate so many variations similar to our blue willow yeah so if i just click on that image and click on variations so these are the variations that i get and another important thing about dali is that if i click on that image and if i click on edit and here you will be having a brush like thing so here you can change the size of the brush and if i just now erase this this is basically like erasing a spot so i'm just erasing it you can change the size of the brush and try it and if i once i'm done erasing that spot i'll be getting a prompt where i can type a text that basically fills this spot so i'll just enter here add more clouds and let's see how it generates so this is quite similar to the photoshop thing but you know like i think we won't be getting that much quality over here but let's see how it goes so this these are the things that i get you know so if you want like correct it you can just click on variations and you know you can just like try adding it so these are the things that i get over here so this is dali and another thing that you can do with dali is that you can just like upload a image exactly similar to lexica so if i just go and click on upload an image i will go with this car and crop it you know to click on click on generate variations so these are the variations that i get and in case if you want to like edit something so i'll just click on edit the same thing that i showed you with the new york thing you can just like brush it out and type something so it works the same way and next thing that i want to show you is let it's hugging face editing images you'll be getting the first link as hugging face by editing images so just click that and you'll be getting an interface like this so here you have an option to edit your image rather than generating the own image so i'll just click on that and i'm having here mask image so they have given an example okay i will just go with the example itself so here you can see they have like a sunglasses thing sunglasses and it's going to be of type object and i will just click on add and after that you need to click on edit your image so by this way we will be able to add sunglasses directly to our image that we have uploaded so we are not getting here an 100% accurate image but this does the job basically and you can even change faces so the final thing is going to be stable diffusion and just google stable diffusion you will be getting the stable diffusion online link click that and you click on get started for free prompt over here the place to type prompt and generate image so i'll go with our prompt and click on generate image so i'll be getting these kind of images and in case if you want to like customize your prompt you have the advanced option steps guidance level seed you have so many options to play with this one so this is basically it guys uh you can just let me know which one is the best based upon my opinion i would say image creator and uh, discord thing blue willow is kind of good and you can just comment which ai image to text thing that you are using in case if i have missed something in this video